All right. So on the top right, we got our uh, red Zerg player. Uh, top left, my my mistake. We got our red Zerg player. I can't even say the name. You gotta have Royal to say G it. Lelouch. 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 We got Lelouch, and then in the bottom right hand corner we have Sifo or Sifo. We're gonna go with Sifo. Sifo. Sifo, Sifo, Sifo sounds killer. Lelouch versus Sifo. Yes. Uh, so Star Station. This map, Protoss don't like this map. I think. Oh, and he's going for a pylon. I mean, you might go for a gate expand. Gateway expand. Um, a lot of Zergs in lore league. Assuming he'll be. Able, I, I'm assuming he's in diamond. Hopefully, a lot of people will know how to gateway expand then. But it throws off a lot of plays because some some Zergs don't know how to deal with it. But then again, this is a master's Zerg, so he's probably seen it a lot trying to copy that nano play man. So it seems like. Lush is going for a hatch first. Oh, oh no, he's not. He's going for a drone scout. Drone scout instead. I think he might want to. Uh, he might want to check for proxy two gates. I know I've. This map is a long map for Protoss, and a lot of Protoss like doing some sort of cannon rush or two gate. They don't want to worry. But they don't want to worry about the third. So it's such a hard third to hold on to with all mm -hmm. these wide, wide, wide open attack angles. And so Protoss might two gate. Um, they might cannon. So he but did go. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. He's going gas before pull. He did go hearts first, so. It does seem like it's going to be a gate expand with a fast gas. Hmm. Ooh, and it looks like Sifo a little bit, a little bit, a little bit nervous. He accidentally pulls all of his probes to deal with that. Really? That drone. Oh, I missed yep. that. <laughs> Damn. We got a fast gas for the Lelouch. He knows, he knows about the gateway expand, so he's going to be going for that fast speed to deal with any sort of maybe early zealot pressure, any sort of stalker pressure. Um, he did go hatch first. First, this, which could be a little bit greedy, but it doesn't matter because Sifo went for the the gateway expand, so he doesn't have to worry about cannons behind his mineral line. Yeah, so he throws, yeah, he throws down the ex he's gonna throw down the expand. If oh, Lilith is blocking it. Oh no, <laughs> he blocks the expansion. Usually, it's the other way around. <laughs> so oh, he blocks the expansion. Protoss player Sifo. taking a little bit of the. Zerg's medicine, but he yeah. he he goes back, he double checks, he makes sure the nexus goes down. So, so what do Protoss what do Protoss do off gateway expands? Tell me, tell me, tell I'm me not, about. This. I'm not really familiar with gateway expands, but from what I've known, it's usually a like usually a type of early pressure. Well, like maybe four gate or three gate. I'm not very good with. Gateway expands, but um, if I were doing it, I would usually go for like a zealot, a mortal all in. Zealot, all right. I guess that that does make it's sense. It's a bit but big you, though on this map, though. It is a bit. He's big going for a four be, gate. He's going for. He'll be missing yeah. the upgrades. The plus one is yeah. what makes plus one plus two is what makes a mortal sentry just so, or or a mortal zealot just so powerful because the zealots will be able to. Rip through almost yeah. everything. Actually. You would usually throw down a a forge in as part of your natural wall off in a mortal a mortal that's completely opposite a mortal sentry um, all in not sentry zealot sorry um, you usually throw it throw it down about like twenty five su supply or something but um, he's it, going, he's for, going for a four gate. He's go yeah, and uh, Lelouch is going for the uh, very fast layer, 630. He hasn't taken that fast third. A lot of Protoss, um, a lot of Protoss kind of expect Zergs to take that quick third, and then they punish them for it with the four gate. Yeah, the four gate. He and sees then, it coming. So it looks like he's thrown down. He's thrown down two more spines, so he knows it's coming. 
And he's also got the Evo Chamber. It'll be interesting what upgrades he has. He's sending out Zerglings to scout around to see what's up. And Sypho is actually going for Stargate. So we might be seeing some sort of four gate pressure with Stargate. Yeah. But this, this is interesting because Lelouch hasn't taken his third. He's pretty even with the Protoss. Yeah. Because Protoss doesn't have a whole lot of production yet. He doesn't have the saturation he would have on his natural if he had Forge fast expanded. So Lelouch uh, Lelou is playing this pretty well. He's getting plus one for his melee attacks. He's probably going to get plus one carapace, and he's going into mutas. He's actually getting his no. Spire. So it's a two-boost muta player. I think that that, that would be good a lot um, against the... Forge he's usually fast, Zealot. Zealot sentry instead of there's not a lot of stalkers in that. So it's a very yeah. It's a very zealot. Oh, the force field's uh, just letting the circlings get through. Uh, so, uh, Lelouch does see Sypho's Phoenix. He immediately throws down the Hydra list and he actually cancelled his spire. Yeah. An interesting play. Yeah, I think if but if he, he scout with the spire, then he'd throw down another Stargate and start pumping out Phoenixes. So so I think he realized that. Uh, yeah, I think you'd realize that continuing with this fire tech wouldn't be worth it. Sypho is getting his forge, probably going to start plus one from that, plus one attack, and Lelouch is just hiding in his base, getting those spore crawlers, getting hydra lists, plus one, plus one, melee, and carapace. I think he's trying to throw like, third now. Yep, he tried to take that third, uh, Sypho being a little annoying with that, that probe on patrol the whole time, but gets cleaned up pretty nicely and the hatchery is going to go down. Yeah. It seems we like have a... Uh, oh, Commander Cup has left the game. I have no idea who that is. It doesn't seem like that he's throwing down a, a robo yet to work with mm -hmm. the Hydralisks. Uh, has he scouted the Hydralisks? I don't think he's scouted the Hydralisks yet, but he's also taking no, a fast he's third. He's taking a third around the same time. And I think that was killed. That wasn't cancelled, yeah. was it? I don't know. That third was killed. That's 400 minerals lost. But he was trying to... He's taking his third the same time as the Zerg does. And that's kind of uncomfortable for the Zerg because you're... You want to be on... even. You want to be ahead on bases. It's usually and one base the, from what the, your opponent is. Assuming uh, that's what I've heard. I don't know if, it is, if yeah. that's true. Yeah. And there's actually three workers... Uh, that could be on gas for Sypho in his natural. That that might be a little bit of a mistake there. He's slowing down the robo yeah. play, uh, the robo. Oh, so he robotics. just throw down the robo. Did he scout the? Yeah, he sees the hydros then, so he's gonna go for some phoenix. Yeah, there. not phoenix. His phoenixes Colossus. were, his phoenixes were flying around. Yeah, and Lelouch's base, just scouting around, trying to see what's up. Still doesn't have Looks the like Lelouch. gas. He's gonna need that down. If he's gonna want to keep constant Colossus production. So it looks like Lelouch is going for an attack right now. If Sypho can hold on to this base, that's pretty key. That's yeah. really good for him. Lelouch is only 7 supply ahead in the army, so if Sypho can micro this, if he can use his force fields, his time warp, and his zealots in the front of his army... cancel on it? No, he's not. Oh, he's so just done the time warp, but it's not, not good enough. Oops. Lelouch oh, actually turns around to engage that. this. I think he's going to lose he's all his units. Is he? Is he, okay, Man. he's targeting down the Vargas. Vargas is a good unit. Looks like, yeah, we have plus one attack from Sypho, and we have a plus one carapace it's getting from blink the Hydra lists. Sypho's going for a blink, a blink play with his current stalkers. In terms of units lost, that doesn't, that wasn't very worth it for Lelouch. He didn't get the cancel, he lost a lot of units, but he killed a Void Ray, he killed the Mothership Core, and he killed a lot of those sentries, so that's a lot of gas he was able to deny. Um, Sypho isn't mining from that natural gas still. He's going to have be... a, a timing no, a timing opening, an opening before he can, so he can attack before uh, he has any classes out because he just threw down his robotics bay. Mm -hmm. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six gate, seven gate, and plus one armor is being researched for a Protoss player here. He's still not got the workers in gas. 
looks like Lelouch is just building army. He really wants to do something about this third China Knight, but I think with the Mothership Core, three cannons, Sypho's going to be able to hold on to this base yeah. pretty well, especially he's, if he brings his army he got over. Blink? Blink is not done yet. He's close to being done now. So if he blinked on top of that, he might have been able to attack the retreating Hydras. But I don't know. But I believe the Hydras have on. speed right now, and yeah. the range upgrade. And they have plus, plus two armor. There is a Colossus on the way though, and the extended thermal mass, uh, thermal lance, <laughs> is being researched as well. He's getting so plus one armor upgrade. He's behind in upgrades. Oh, he's getting yeah. plus two attack. Then that's all right then. So they're about even in upgrades. Lelouch kind of realizes oh, that side attack. He's gonna lose his armor. There's blink micro coming out from Psycho. The stalkers. There's, there's a lot of riders here. There is a Colossus. About the Colossus pops and it comes out here to help defend. These hydras though are ripping through the gateway units. Yeah. The Colossus might be the only thing that helps. He's the target on the Colossus. Oh, he's gonna lose. If he can target here. the Colossus, that would be he's worth not it. Targeting the Colossus might goes back. One the thing is though, that, that hero colossus is doing a lot of damage. It is a hero colossus. Eight kills. The thing is though, Lelouch traded his army for Sypho's army, like yeah. almost perfectly. The only thing that survived was a colossus and a zealot. And he can, he's been remaking his army, and he's gonna keep putting the pressure on it. And it looks like he's saving up all his money for fifteen mutilists. Yeah. So. Oh, he, he'll he probably to, swing has, around. He's not scouted this at all, has he? He's not scouted that. He's not even he has scouted no idea the third that base. The mutilisk is the mutilisk which is coming. So if he can swing his mutilisks into the natural, into the third, Sypho's going to have a really hard time defending this. He does have Blink Stalkers, but with Colossus and Zealots on the field, you know, those don't shoot up. And especially versus all these mutilisks. There are 18 mutilists to 7 stalkers, so the mutilists will just be able to teach this. Yeah. He's just gonna yeah, the... keep building mutilists. I think he knows that uh, there's not a lot of anti air in terms of the mobility. Stalkers are decent, but now they're a bit. Oh, the mutilists coming from the side. Yep, Lelouch going straight into the main, killing as many workers as he can. There's actually a void ray that's near dead. I don't know if it's going to oh, survive. Well, all, the, all the probes clumped up. Yeah, the he's stopping my... And yeah, my Lush is on 93 workers, while Sypho lost workers, isn't mining, is walking around everywhere. He needs to and throw down another Stargate in there. Le Lelouch is in a commanding Maybe. lead right now in terms of economy. Mutalist on the way, 11 more in production, plus one stuck. attack for his Mutalisks, and 28 Mutalisks on the field. Thing is though, um, Lelouch is on six bases to Cyphos three, so he's yep. way ahead in the economy. Lelouch has been expanding. He took that, uh, he took that base. I don't know what to call that base. He he took two more bases. He's dropping spines at one of them, and he's staying ahead of economy wise. He's actually one two. He has six spines being morphed in at his expansion, so he's prepared to defend these expansions. He's getting plus two attack for his flying attack and there's an engagement going on. These mutilists are able to just mow through the stalkers. Yeah, there's, there's not enough stalkers here to take down. There's only like eight stalkers against 29 mm -hmm. mutilists. The stalkers are actually plus two plus two but they're still good against it's, um, the mutilists like the plus one but there just wasn't the numbers there that you wanted. Is he gonna take? Oh, he, he leaves the third base, but he does get all the probes there. Sypho is attacking into Lelouch's fifth, but he only has two void rays and two void rays. They're That's not the only anti air he has. That's the only anti air he has. These mutilists are gonna have fun. I think he only has to go all in at this point. He is trying. He, oh, yep. He, uh, he's just trying to supply block him. It's two hundred. All the clusters are down. 63, and it looks like Lelouch is going to take game one against Sypho with a brilliant, pretty, well, I don't know, brilliant, but a very nice, very nice Mutalist. The text were really good in this game.